This game might be the best train simulator to ever exist. It's called Trans-Siberian Train Simulator and while it might look on the surface like your run-of-the-mill train simulator, it's actually hiding some dark secrets. So we're going to be using this train and we're going to see what the game has to offer and hopefully not end up in a gulag. And so the goal of this game is to transport as many goods as possible with also some secret cargo and secret missions to do with certain sort of people uh, who are also in this game. Oh, hello. We're straight in there. Sounds like we got some wagons that need transporting, but first of all, we got to get this thing started up. Uh, let's grab this wrench here because we might actually need this if we need to make any fixes. Now, on the topic of wrenches and repairing things, this game is almost like My Summer Car, as you can actually upgrade and fix and damage your train. If we press T in the inspection mode, we can actually see all of the individual components which you can upgrade, replace, fix, whatever. They're all here. Let's give it a little try. I've just taken off the speedometer here, uh, which is in my inventory. We're going to go and put a new one in because this one is damaged. And we'll go find a speedometer. Here's one here. We'll buy that for 60 rubles. And that takes us down to 940. And because this is obviously our locomotive, uh, it's not owned by the government for some reason, even though we are in Soviet Russia. <laughs> but uh, we'll gloss over that. Uh, I have to buy all the parts for the locomotives. So not only do you have to maintain the locomotive, but you actually have to raise enough money by doing jobs and uh, special jobs to be able to fund the parts for your train to actually function. But let's fix up this speedometer. I think this is looking pretty good. Screw these in. That's now good to go. Uh, there shouldn't be anything stopping us here. So let's go into the engine room and we can straight away kick this thing into action. Now, luckily, I'm an absolute genius at figuring out how trains work. And by that, I mean, I've been on YouTube and I've Googled a tutorial. Uh, <laughs> but there's a compressor. I think that needs turning on to get started. So you know we're in for an absolute treat uh, by professional when we know we've just googled how the train works. But we know how it works at least. Let's get this bad boy fired up. Let's get some power on. Boom, boom. Pantographs are up. Now let's get this thing started. Let's turn on the KVC and the BV1. No idea what they mean. Let me know in the comments if you know and we'll release those. Uh, now we need some generators I believe. So let's get the generator on. Compressors on. Engine cooling on. All this good stuff. We also need some signals. So let's turn signalization on. That will let us know in this little box here what's happening with the signals. If the next one I had is going to be red or green or whatever so we can slow down in preparation. Put a little bit of illumination on. Get the train going. Okay. And we'll release once again. And that should turn all of our errors off on the console. I believe this thing's good to go. We'll stick it in forward. And away we go. Oh yeah. We're off in this classic Soviet train okay so there we go it's not too far to go we'll give this a little bit more power actually uh, just get this rolling a little bit faster running on six kilometers i think this might be slightly uphill this track okay points have been switched let's get going in reverse and we'll hook up to these cars very quickly get things going make a bit of money okay okay very gently hook it up and there we go we're good to go let's uh... right before we go we've got to wait for these signals to go green and in that time, we have a bit of spare time to uh, do some nefarious activities. Uh, let's go for a little walk, shall we? We can visit the train station where we got some merchants. Let's see what they got for sale. Cans of tuna. Flashlights. Chainsaw. As you do. Random crap. We'll get some milk. Might be good for the journey. Who knows? Might get a bit thirsty. Get a couple of bananas. Nice one. What have we got here? Cabbage. Love a bit of cabbage. Bit of onion. Just eat some raw onion on the way. Hell yeah. Could be cooking up a storm in this train. Now, I wonder what could be in this little outhouse here behind the train station. It looks like we've got another shop. Let's find out what we got for sale. Now, I will remind you again, this is a train game. Yeah, that's great, mate. I'll take the AK. Thank you. So now we've got our necessary equipment for this train simulator. Let's get going. Signal should be green by now. We can get this train underway. Oh, we've got a few Russian police. Oh, should I say Soviet police? Oh, shit, I'm getting shot at. Ow, I've been hit. Uh oh, this is bad. We gotta get in this train. We get the shot at. Reload. Train is ready to go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh god, there's people. Go ahead, I'm getting shot at. Oh my god. Go, 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 get the train. Get it going, come on. Let's speed up. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, there's another one. Get out of here. Get out of here! 
This is fantastic. I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Oh my god. Let's see what damage we took from that gunfight. Train is rolling. That's the most important thing. We, to be honest, we didn't even take that much damage. That's crazy. I mean, we've got a few broken windows, which are, you know, relatively easy to fix, but no main issues. I think, uh, looks like the shock absorbers took a couple of hits. There's not quite green. Although it does say they're on full health, so that is interesting. Yeah, but I wonder why the train itself hasn't taken much damage. I think they just hit the windows or just, like, steal with nothing in. Oh. Oh, they, they hit the, uh, they hit the brakes or something, because that's taken a bit of damage there. Sitting on yellow at the minute. Everything else is on green. Yeah, pretty good, to be honest. I'll take that. That's a bit of a win. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the yellow light we've just gone through. Did I turn the signal system on? I think I did, right? Yeah, it's all good. It's actually not showing up on the system, which makes me think that um, potentially it's been shot out. Because um, it's supposed to come up here, what the next signal is, and there's, it's just like nothing. So I wonder what's going on there. I'm going to put a little bit more speed on this. Let's get it a bit faster. Now you see, you can't actually go too much, because if I bring it too far like this, uh, we actually get a warning because it's uh, like wheel spinning the engine or like over revving it. Uh, which causes problems. So we kind of have to keep it on its, its limit without over accelerating. This game will also throw challenges at you, such as electrical problems with the overhead lines. We can see here there's a sign coming up somewhere around here, uh, which is going to actually say that there's a problem with the electrics. That means we have to turn the train off, and then as we're moving, restart. It's, it's a super cool premise, and there's lots of different things in this game like this. Okay, so that looks like the sign there. It's like a little blue symbol with an electric. There it is. Yeah, so we're going to turn off the pantographs, get them down. And there we go. We should have saved our engine now. We don't want to over-electrify anything. Oh! No, the pentagraphs are still up! Okay, let's uh, try again. They must have failed to go down. That's rubbish. Okay. Uh-oh, pentagraph power. Oh. Did it work? Did it work? That was close. That is actually... <laughs> that is dangerous. I think the, power, uh, the uh, pentagraphs have got damaged. Pentagraph is the thing that collects the electricity to the wires, by the way, for the train. But that is, that is not good. That has not gone all the way down. So if we make any connection with that wire, we could have a bit of an issue there. All right, of course, reset the engine. Oop. Reset that engine and reset the power down to zero and then back to where we want it to be. Our little friend on the radio, he's saying, oh, so there's a, there's a target and uh, he's gonna let us know when we get to the target what it is. But apparently we're approaching it just now. Um, I don't like the look of where this is going. It seems to be three tracks going into one over a bridge. Oh, that's definitely a red. Okay, full emergency. That is not good. We're, we're gonna have to reverse here. That's that's a red. We're gonna run the red. This is Okay, full emergency and full emergency on the locomotive as well. Uh, this is not good. This is really not good. This is really not good. We're going so fast. I, I don't think we're gonna stop. I, this is... I, this is this is not. <laughs> this, this is uh, this might be it. I might have to abandon ship here. Uh, there's a train. There is there is a train coming towards us. Uh, I don't think this. Yeah, but let's get out of here. It's over. It's so over. It's so over. Jump. Ah! <laughs> oh, it was all the dream. I just fell asleep on the job. I've been in cruise control this whole time. Well, um, at least we know there's a signal coming up. Right, so I managed to break for long enough that the train actually passed before we got to the signal, which is great because it means we don't actually have to stop. So it breaks off. Uh, let's get a little bit of power on here as well. So we've got a bit of bad news. Um, the main brake line actually got shot out uh, because my locomotive has brakes, but... Uh, all of those things don't back there, so it's a little bit difficult to stop. We have to get that fixed at the next uh, next place. So there's our man, Nikita. He's got some uh, little presents for us, apparently. So once we get to a low enough speed, I'm going to hop off this train. The brakes are in full service, uh, but uh, they're not very good, considering that we have literally like no, no uh, pressure in the brakes, because it's got a fat bullet hole in it. I think it should be slow enough for me to hop off. We'll grab whatever this guy has to say. Work our way down and jump. Okay, very good, very good. Just let it roll by. Should come to a stop any minute now. Okay. Yeah, great, mate. Can I have the bomb? <laughs> Another thing I really like about this game is it's got that kind of. I think it's Fallout that it's uh, based on, but it's got that kind of weird... Or is it Skyrim? I don't actually know. But anyway, <laughs> it's got that kind of viewing system, which is really cool. You can kind of check it out in a 3D model. 
Very nice. Anyway, let's plant the bomb. 30 seconds! Okay, we've got to get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Cheeky Bev on the train. Hell yeah. And let's slam on these powerful brakes. That's going to take us hopefully down from 1 down to 0. Look at the speed and efficiency of those. But it's okay because we're at this huge ass station and we're going to get it fixed. But first of all, I've got a little package to drop off. A package. Package to Boris. Yeah, that was Boris. Right, over to the station then. I would love to drive some of these passenger trains. I don't know if you can actually do that in the game, but that would be really cool if you could. Hello, Boris. Sure you would, buddy. Right, welcome to the market where we can buy sausage, uh, milk, beer. I think we'll grab a few beers because, I mean, what else on this market store could cure a hangover, right? Like, other than <laughs> beer? Now, what's the one thing you can do to prevent a hangover? It's just drink some more. <laughs> Solid advice from Hushy. And surprisingly, it actually works. The game's designed that way. Fantastic. Um, okay, well, I think we're good for now, then. Let's go ahead and uh, get back on that train. Slightly intoxicated and uh, continue our job. I hope that damn mechanic has fixed the brakes because we've got to get out of here. Oh my god. On the train. Go, 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 go. Get him. Okay, full ahead. Brakes charged. Manual brake. Get off. Whew. Anyway, let's check if these brakes work. They do! And they're actually good! Hell yeah. Actual power in the brakes, fantastic stuff. Okay, we don't actually need to brake though. Nice. Let's get some serious speed and get the hell out of here. There's a lot more of a journey to complete, definitely. What an absolute insane start to a train simulator. What? <laughs> but I actually really enjoy this game. If you guys think the same and you guys want to see more of this, please, please, please let me know in the comments. But this game is definitely absolutely incredible. Trans-Siberian Train Simulator. Check it out. Amazing game. Recommend it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode, which is on screen now.